Welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 of the Bhagavad Gita Painted Series. In this series, I focus on key concepts, saints, and values inspired by the Bhagavad Gita. This episode focuses on Lord Krishna, the eighth avatar of Lord Vishnu, the preserver aspect of the Hindu trinity. Hindu paintings show Lord Krishna at different stages of his life, an infant, a young boy, or the wise charioteer giving counsel to Prince Arjuna. Lord Krishna was born in a dungeon in the city of Mathura, within the state of Uttar Pradesh in India, around 3200 BCE. He was born in the Yadava clan to Queen Devaki and her husband, King Vasudeva. Devaki had a brother, Kansa, a tyrant who, along with other demon kings, was terrorizing the earth. Lord Vishnu took birth as Lord Krishna to end this tyranny. Kansa agreed to let Devaki get married to a Yadava prince in the hopes of taking over the Yadava clan. However, when Devaki was getting married, Kansa was told by fortune tellers that the son of Devaki would bring his end. In his fear, Kansa decided he would kill Devaki. But after Prince Vasudeva begged for his wife's life and promised to hand his son to Kansa as soon as it was born, Kansa let his sister live but kept them imprisoned. On the night of Lord Krishna's birth, as soon as he was born, a bright light filled the prison and King Vasudeva was woken up by a divine voice that guided him to take Krishna across the Yamuna river and leave him with Nandaraja, the head of the Gopa tribe. The prison doors opened for him and the guards fell asleep. Nandaraja's wife, Yashoda, had also given birth to a baby girl that night. Vasudeva secretly carried baby Krishna across the Yamuna river and exchanged the babies. He headed back to the prison with the baby girl, who gave a loud cry as soon as she lay next to Devaki. Devaki begged Kansa not to kill the baby. She pleaded that the prophecy must have been wrong, as the son was meant to bring the end of Kansa. When Kansa tried to kill the exchanged baby, it transformed into Goddess Duruga, who warned him that his death had already arrived in the kingdom, and then she disappeared. Kansa eventually freed Vasudeva and Devaki and let them live in a separate palace. Krishna grew up unaware of his destiny in Gokul with his foster parents. Thank you for watching so far. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. This will ensure that more people can find this resource. Click the notification button so that you can be the first to know about new uploads. And please do comment below. I'll do my best to reply to any questions. Thank you.